Okay, I'm going to be the first to admit I kind of got pipe fever right now. Had a lot of response over this pipe. People want me to build them for them. Uh, but to be quite honest, I don't even know if it works yet. I don't know if, even know if it makes power. It looks cool, but I don't know if it makes power. So, anyways, I've got some ideas on how I can improve on this as far as uh, what, what do you want to call it? Like, I, I just want to smooth out the flow in this pipe a bit. So I'm going to build another one and uh, a little more refined. Let's put it that way. And we're just going to have to try them. That, that's all there is to it. We're just going to have to try them. So uh, I'm going to turn the camera around here and show you what I'm doing today. So I made a new template. And then I held it on the piece of clean steel, spray painted it, and now I know exactly where I need to grind that out once I drill the holes through it. So I'm just going to apologize. It's cold, it's winter, it's snowing outside, and I got the heat on, so there's a bit of fan noise. So you're going to, you're going to have to put up with that and hopefully you can hear me okay. So here is the original muffler, right? I'm lazy, I don't want to take this off. So I'm going to use this original muffler as a guide to build the second my second design muffler so basically what I've done is I've just laid it on the paper here as you can see and I've just gone around with a square just touching the outside of the can and I'm making marks on the paper as I go around so that's my footprint basically. So if I connect these dots, that's going to tell me where I can build a pipe. So I've marked the, the outlet of the head or the, um, the cylinder here, the exhaust port. So that I know where that has to go. And so now I'm gonna, what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw a, uh, a pattern on here of how I want the the bottom chamber, the shape that I want for this bottom chamber. Okay, what I'm trying to develop here is is with this piece of paper right now is the piece. See, I'm not going to use the exhaust tubing like I did last time. It's all going to be made out of sheet metal. So this, I'm trying to develop a piece. There's there's two pieces here. If you want to, like that, almost touch each other of these two um, chunks of exhaust tubing the bottom of the top and the top of the bottom chamber so what I want to do is make this piece that comes along here and then it bends over around this bolt here the mounting bolt and then it comes up here and forms the bottom of the top chamber and then I'm also gonna incorporate the outlet I don't like this outlet the way it is here because what happens if you, when you're in the wood and you got your bar sunk into and you're bucking a, a log, this almost this this is touching the log. I mean the dogs are sticking out further, but depending on how you're holding your saw, this ends up right against the log. Only thing that saves it is it's more or less lined up with the cut, so the exhaust can you know come through the cut, but it blocks this off. If you're not paying attention, you, almost, you, can, you can block that right off. So I'm going to make this on the new one, hook around and come out like this, shoot out this way. So here's the shape that I came up with for that piece I was talking about. Um, it's kind of hard to get your head around it. I'm just going to cut this out 
and then kind of be able to better visualize what it's doing when I want to have the piece actually cut out. All right, here's the piece. And you know, it's kind of hard to get your head around it, but so here, here's, here's where it goes. So I put the stud in on the flange. All right, so the exhaust is going to come out of here and it's going to drop down, wrap around that stud, All right? Drop down, come out here, drop down. Go around the stud and then it'll form the bottom of the top chamber. And it's going to head back here and hook around and shoot out this way. See that? So around the stud forms the bottom of the top chamber and then shoots out toward my finger there. So let's I'm just going to go ahead and form this around that and I'll be back. So I realized I needed to weld this here before I folded this over. So got that welded on there now. I'm going to have to do a little bit more welding where this nut is. That, that nut's going, not going to be there when, when it's all finished. So I'll be able to access that from this side once I pull that stud out of there to finish it up. Well to be quite honest with you I'm feeling a little bit silly about this doing this. <laughs> um, it's kind of well it's it's coming but it's it's way more work than I thought it would be. Um, Reminds me of a exhaust pipe from a Merlin aircraft engine, like a Spitfire engine that was just cut off right here. Anyway, um, I'm into it now, so I've got to keep going. Uh, I'm not going to stop, but it's not really turning out the way I had to modify this because it, it was way too big like it was it was stick it, it was uh, going to interfere with the uh, chain brake and it was going to stick out the front too much so it may evolve from here but uh, as it is this is sticking out as far as I'd, I'd want it to maybe a bit too far but um, if you compare it with the original muffler, you can see you can see how much it's gonna. Well, it's not bad. Maybe it doesn't. Yeah, it's gonna stick out half an inch, maybe more. So. Doesn't look like it on the yeah, see there? It's gonna stick out that much more. So anyways, I'll just keep going. So kind of like writing a story, I have a beginning and I have an end. So now I just gotta fill in all the details in the middle. So <laughs> this is way too complicated, but I'm committed now. No, I, I a little bit before this, before I welded this piece on, I was really contemplating just smashing this with a sledgehammer to prevent myself from finishing it. But I'm not going to do that. I'm going to finish it, and uh, that's just that's it. That's just the way it's going to be. It might not. Yeah, I mean, yeah, it might not be as nice as I wanted it to be. But at this point, I'm just kind of, I'm kind of over it. So I'm just going to get it done. Okay, so this is your last chance to take a look inside before I put the top on. It's, 
and it, it's it's turning out pretty good. Um, I think it's turning into more of an art project than uh, than a performance pipe, but uh, <laughs> at this point, so uh, you know, I, I've moved from <clears throat> I've moved from uh, making uh, my missions to make to make a uh, performance pipe into uh, making a piece of art. That's that's kind of my mindset right now. It's just uh, it's an art piece. That's what's keeping me going on this thing. Um, so anyway, uh, I got to make this top cap. I got to make a little piece to go in here first. Connect this. And I have been trying it in the saw. And it fits in there perfectly, nicely. Not perfectly, but it fits fits with good clearance all around. So underneath the original plastic. So um, anyways, I'm just gonna. I'm done. I'm, I'm, I'm committed now. Totally committed. Uh, I don't hate it anymore. I, I, I'm enjoying myself. So. Okay, I got the I got the pipe on the saw. Give you a look at that here in a sec. And yeah, I know the chains. The chain is super loose on the saw. But uh, anyways, there is there it is. Looks good. It's a little close on this side. Might melt the plastic, but. Whatever. So this is the next day. I already ran this saw last night. So it's cold. I just gotta add this brace here. So yeah, it's it's loud. I don't know if it's gonna make any more power, but we shall see. I'm actually going to Buckins today, so um, stay tuned for that. On my way to Buckins. last Yeah. Uh -huh. 
Sea, just south of Nanaimo, north of Duncan, north of Shimanas, north of Ladysmith, Duke Point area. Anyway, I want to see my friend Mr. Buck and Billy Ray. See if we can catch this guy working on a chainsaw. Hey, 
Hey, Buck and Billy Ray, what are you doing? Me? Oh, yeah. hey, how, how, yo, hey, hey, why, hey, hi. Come Just playing around with some power saws that some weird mechanic guy brought over and figured he was a power saw builder guy. Well, that's, not, that's not my chainsaw. Oh, no, this is not your chainsaw. But that's, I believe that's your muffler. Oh, that, yeah. Yeah, that, that. This is a tin man saw. You can tell by that right there, because it yeah. says tin man. What is this, a, a, this is a 72 cc? They are, yeah. So this is a saw that Tin Man built for bucking. Yeah. Yeah. That's my saw. Now, I am looking to test these out, eh, bud? One and two. All right, Morgan Mo. Well, we're here now, friends, and actually, um, so you all, if, if you know who you're hanging with here, which is Wild West Garage, Morgan, Wild Man Morgan, out of the craziness of his mind, I actually, uh, I like this one. I'll be honest, I do. I like this one. I do too. This one's okay. This was your first, I mean, I'm sure it's fine. Um, but I think that... It sounds better for starters, but that don't mean nothing. Sound is great, but we're gonna see how this thing pulls. So we're gonna set up, we're at root rots, and we're actually, we got a couple of pieces right there, nice and easy, we're just gonna peel back that tarp and get it on. Get it on! <clears throat> Morgan's just popping in here with his hot rod muffler. He wanted to test these things out. Oh, look at him. He's not playing around. He's right on it. Watch this, here it comes. Here you go. Yeah. I, I think this thing is going to work. So, I can't wait to actually feel it. It sounds like it's going to work. chain needs help okay it's yeah. uh the the, the the teeth are sharp but we need to hit the rakers okay. and that four stroke this will be very interesting friends so the, the the saw is not fat it might be a little fat but when you have a dull saw friends it doesn't allow or or rakers it doesn't allow for that saw to load up and and lean out you hear the the sound eh? the difference we're going to file the rakers we're going to be back we're not going to touch no jets and we're going to dig in and I think what you'll see is that saw will go right away and get on that plane. What this is, is this is a Lucas, this is for, a, it says Lucas Mill. This is from my buddy, 730 seconds file. It's from Australia and uh, it's for a 404 pitch. What does that oh. <laughs> A musical instrument that's actually a good sign that's a sign of good steel okay sunglasses i'm gonna see what happens here Let, let's just uh we gotta try buckins muffler too yeah i'll just put this here let's see so what do we get oh yeah this will work see that so you got that it's so it's one setting yeah these are way up there brother so this might be a little hungry now. 
Let me look. You know what? I'm just going to roll with this. And I'm not going to take it right down to the steel. Like right down to the metal. I'm going to put this over here. There we go. Because it's 404 chain. It's 404. So I'm just going to... Yeah, th this is haywire, Morgan. Like... <laughs> I love it. This is where it's 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 everything to get these these raker gauges. There we go. This is a full house change, too. So, <clears throat> can you shut what, my camera off for what me? What would be the difference, like as far as cutting goes, with the full house versus what you call a skip tooth? Well, yeah, it takes more power to run a full house. Yeah, full house is smoother. Uh, I like skip tooth in bigger wood sometimes. It's less. It just takes less power to pull it. Yeah. <clears throat> So let your saw rub up. Yeah, but in face. smaller wood, you won't keep up. Full house will will be skip. Right. Guaranteed. That's my experience. But you can see how high these are. I don't know if you can get close, Morgan. Uh, well, that's kind of what I thought. But I mean, look at this. They're, look at that. I mean, they're well, yeah. they're way up. So what should happen now? is this should bite wood instantly now and lose that four stroking. I don't want to zing your saw way up there. But but I can tell a dull saw across the valley. <laughs> I can. And people always, they go off about this, this, Hear the squeak? Hear that? Yeah. Did you hear that? That's because people go straight across. Please yeah. share this video with gazillions of people. Watch. Just go go on a 45. I don't. I've never done that. I've never done this. It, they, it don't matter what you do, you'll squeak. Go on a 45 like this, and you you you'll squeak like hardly ever. Look at how high those are. <laughs> I'm not going extra like crazy. I'm just getting them down. <clears throat> this so, thing so I've I've sharpened this chain uh, three or four times. Twice now. Oh, okay. And the, the last time I cut with it, I was cutting some wood that been laying in the dirt. Yes. And I picked a rock or something. Oh yeah. Good. Well, I, I can see your teeth are not all the same size. Yeah. Now, friends, look at me for a second. Let me talk to you here. <clears throat> look at this. See that tooth? Okay, see it? Now look at this one. Yeah. It's way bigger. So, friends, the raker gauge is your friend. <clears throat> you want to go freehand? You keep jackhammering that wood. <laughs> you just keep jackhammering that wood. Get it, get on a raker gauge. I'm telling you, you, you'll smooth out. Your whole game will smooth out. You don't have to make your teeth the same size. No one I've ever met has ever done that. No one has even talked about it until I came to YouTube. It's not even a thing, friends. But this, I can tell by how high this raker is, but without even looking, that this tooth is teeny. It is. Look how small that tooth is compared to these other ones. I knew by the height of the raker. Look at that. Yeah. And and that just took off a lot. This is gonna be hungry now. Like it will. It'll be hungry and then and then the next filing will be just beautiful. And if you don't mind me saying, Morgan, I think your top plate could probably use a little bit of doctoring. Okay. And that means just cleaning up that burr a bit. But it's it's good. We cut with it and it's still hanging in there good, so that's a good sign. I actually think you've done a nice job. Thank you. Been watching this guy on YouTube. 
Well, there's a few guys out there. <laughs> you talking about Wrangler Star? <laughs> Wrangler Star, how are you, buddy? Somebody said you squawked my name out there a little while back. I appreciate it, bud. I think you blocked me many years ago because I was talking to you about something about your firewood you were cutting. I said, I think I said there was an easier way to do that or something, and you blocked me. Maybe you can unblock me. Maybe we can collab one day. We'll come and cut some big wood. Would that be fun, Mr. Wrangler Star? Okay, that was it. That's it, we're done. Now watch what happens. Watch this, just let's go straight to it. Yep, bring that over, Morg, set us up and turn it on. Okay, friends, so here we are. We just followed the rakers. Morgan's been rolling. Let's fire up and see how we do here. It's just, there's still a little, just another filing and this thing will be beautiful. But did it do that thing where I said? Took the four stroke. Four stroke was gone, yeah. instantly gone. I want to try it. Okay. <clears throat> What do you think of that? It's pulling me. Pretty interesting, isn't it? Morgando. We have not tuned that. No. Bucking the saw now. This is the saw that Tin Man built for him. It's a, it's a, it's a 72cc and it's got my first muffler and my first pipe on it. So those, those 
mufflers work. Good. Yeah, they work. A lot of work. Yeah. We can come up with something simpler. Yeah, we can. We can come up with something simpler, Morgan. Yeah, That's sure. a lot of work, those mufflers. They're beautiful. They do work, but the gains aren't worth the time. That, exactly. They're just not. Yeah. It's an art piece. It is an art piece, yeah. <laughs> and I'd like to run it. When I, I'm going to try it on. You know what I'd like to do, to be honest with you, is uh, I'm going to, I might, well, it's a lot of, see, I like the pipes, like, I think, have I got my, yeah, here. I just want to show this right now. Here, here's the reason I like these. It's two bolts. Yeah. You're, you're, you're on and off right now, friends, with that. Just boom, bang, off. Uh, but Morgan, he, your mind is nuts, man. He made that freaking... Friends, those are actually artwork. <laughs> They're metal art. Yeah. They are metal That's art. That's what it says above my bench. So I know it does. It. Yeah, no, it, it, you did a neat, a neat thing. So, no real conclusive evidence that either one of those pipes makes power. I guess you could argue that. But... Um, Bakken is excited about that second pipe. Um, and I realize now, now that I've made the two pipes, they're, they're very different. Um, the first pipe, and we've had some discussion about that, it's basically just two cans that are connected together with an inlet and an outlet. The, um, the first pipe, the exhaust port just kind of dumps into the first can on the bottom. And I mean, there's some shape to it, like it's directing. I got it curved so it directs the flow of the exhaust toward the. Uh, here, I'll just. Maybe I'll just flip you around and explain it on the saw here. So the first pipe that I built with the two pieces of exhaust tubing stacked on top of each other. The exhaust just dumps into the bottom chamber and it's, it's shaped, it's got a curve to it like here on the side and it comes up here and hits this, this side, goes up into the top can and then there's a kind of a curve back on it and it's got the pipe sticking straight out here. So I would argue that that first pipe, although it looks kind of cool, it's probably doesn't add any horsepower. Maybe it's a bit more free flowing than the original exhaust pipe. So maybe it adds a little bit, but I don't think it's really worth the time it took to make it. And the second pipe, um, because it's got this, it's got a chute here. So this, it basically it extends the, the exhaust port, right, out further. And then it expands a little bit. And then it's got a nicer, it's got, just got a nicer flow to it, right? It hooks around. It's got a longer stinger on it. Um, I think that pipe makes, makes power. It's just my gut feeling on it, you know, like it sounds better, like it's it's more open. Let's put it that way. And it just has more sort of just um it has more elements to it that would 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 cause flow, right? So um, specifically that extension on the on the exhaust port it's kind of a velocity thing right I mean we could argue about this but I'm not going to argue I'm just going to say what I think um, and I'm not going to get into an argument or a discussion about it I'm going to tell you that right now if somebody wants to start throwing stuff at me uh, in the comments about theory and all that I'm not going to go there you can you can say your bit, but I'm not going to, I'm not going to, I'm not going to respond to it. And I'm, I'm and one thing I'm going to s stress right now is that I won't be building 
I won't be building any pipes for anybody. Um, I don't want to take people's money for something that I can't prove works. So, uh, but Buckin's excited. He wants me to build a, a pipe for one of his bigger saws. So I'm, I'm going to probably do that eventually, but not for a while. So anyways, that's it for now. Thanks for watching. See you next time.